Special. Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel, guys. Wow, long time no see, I know. Um, let's see, when was the last time I uploaded like an actual YouTube video? What? Three months ago? I mean, I have been uploading shorts, which are really just like re-uploads from my TikTok and everything, but as far as like an actual YouTube video, yeah, I need to get back into it. But uh, you read the title, and yes, I'm gonna kind of show you how I did this nail art using mostly of Arosa Beauty. So Arosa Beauty, sadly, you can't purchase this anymore because they went out of business, which is actually really... I was really sad about that. I really, truly love their nail polishes. I actually discovered them back when I did like, uh... I think it was some kind of nail polish for Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio. Please excuse the boo-boo I have on my finger, and as you see, yeah, I'm in a desperate need for a manicure, and, uh, yeah, I have yellow nails, but they don't matter. Don't believe me? Take it away, Christine. Your know-it-all friend is like, your nails are yellow because they need to breathe. And science is like, no, kids. Nails are like hair, and they're dead. Just because you dye your hair doesn't mean your hair's not healthy. Just like how when your nails are yellow, it doesn't mean your nails aren't healthy. I'm on a low carb diet, I take my vitamins, my nails are yellow simply because I paint them all the time. But it doesn't really matter here because as you see, I went in with some Arosa yellow nail polish and just, yeah, painted over the uh, false nail and whatnot. So yeah, also excuse my eczema, that's genetic. Uh, there's on so only so much Eucerin can do to fix that. But uh, yeah, now that I have the base down, ooh, and here I am just showing you some of my favorite colors. My camera does no justice. They're actually very vibrant and pretty in person. I'm also gonna be using other nail polishes like this white one from Olive and June, as well as this really pretty teal by China Glaze. Like I said, I'm mostly, mostly a Rosa Beauty nail polish is gonna be used for this nail art because uh, yeah, I can only get with what I could. So I have to use this white and teal from different brands, but I was able to get one of the black nail polishes. This one happens to be one of my favorite. This one's called Onyx. I'm so glad I was able to get my hands on one more bottle. And here I'm just kind of showing you my dotting tools as well as my nail art brushes um yeah i keep everything in a shot glass and not exactly in the best condition <laughs> honestly i need to upgrade them um i just haven't had a chance to really go to sally's beauty supply or anything but this is pretty much what i always use when i do my nail art just like safety pins these dotting tools and nail art brushes i got in my cosmetology kit like what five six years ago safety pins and whatnot is because sometimes not always i cosplay but i keep a few safety pins just for nail art purposes but yeah um anyways the point of all this jibber jabber um these dotting tools are old, not really the best condition or anything, so I saw that Arosa Beauty had their own dotting tools, which I really like. I didn't even know they had dotting tools, so I was so glad I was able to get my hands on this. And they don't have that really cool, like, swirly effect. They just, they're plain and white and they say Arosa. However, I still really like them. Like, look at this, guys. It's so clean. It's not, like, full of, like, nail polish and whatnot. Pants. I will definitely try to take care of these a lot better than my previous set. <laughs> right, but now onto the actual nail art. So, yeah, I talk a lot. <laughs> but, um... I just got like this little paper plate here and I'm just gonna put like a little dollop of black nail polish. This is what I'm gonna be using to do most of my nail art instead of black acrylic paint. So the reason why I had the band-aid, as you see, I have a little boo-boo in the corner, so just ignore that. But yeah, um, I am just going to take the black nail polish and paint on like a little smiley face. I'm then gonna go in with like this, I guess you can call it crimson color. Um, both my yellow nails, I just put different expressions because, I don't know, just felt like it. <laughs> so this shade is called Hibiscus. Once again, just gonna put a little dollop right next to the black nail polish and I'm just gonna paint on a little lingua or like a little tongue using one of the dotting tools. That's two nail designs down. Super simple, super cute and easy. And now for the next part. Oh, okay, so I lost the footage for all this, but on both my thumbnails, one of my pinky nails, as well as my middle nail, I swear I'm not flipping you guys off. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> I went in with that black nail polish and just painted on the outline of just like a regular heart. I go in with like my favorite yellow nail polish, guys. This one is so opaque. Oh my gosh. But yeah, um, using my really old nail art brush, like I said, I've had this like five years, but I'm just roughly gonna paint on the outline of like, these are supposed to look like flames, but instead they look like Guy Fieri's hair. <laughs> I lost the footage for this part, but um, I went in with my safety pin as well as some light blue acrylic paint, and I just kind of... I don't know. I just kind of outlined the, um, the flames. I thought it looked better this way. For this next part, I really can't remember what I was doing, but once again, I wanted to play more with the nail polish and whatnot, so I went in with this really pretty pink Arosa Beauty nail polish, and once again, a little dollop here on this paper plate, and I'm just using my dotting tool to stipple on the nail polish, just kind of filling in the heart. Uh, um, nail art kind of takes a while, that's why I use a lot of time lapse and a lot of jump cuts and whatnot, but as you see, um, yeah, here's the completed nail designs. 
So right here, I was just showing you off my two favorite colors, which is black and pink, but for the next two nail designs, you're only gonna need the black nail polish. So yeah, on the white nails, I am just gonna take, yeah, a little dollop of black nail polish, as well as a dotting tool, and just roughly dot on the outline, or yeah, cow print. <laughs> it's not really an outline, it's just a bunch of dots and whatnot. <laughs> So you can call me Kronk because honestly, I was just winging it, but it was all coming together. Yeah, so um, I was kind of having second thoughts about the middle nail design, but for the time being, ooh, look at that cow print or Dalmatian print, whatever you want to call it. I really like how it looks, and I'm going to go ahead and do this nail off camera just to save time whenever I was filming all this. Get out, me getting a hand cramp totally while filming. It happens a lot. I actually have arthritis in my hands. That's why my knuckles be looking like that. But anyways, as you see here, um, this happened completely by accident, but um, I fell in love with this bright neon acrylic paint that I actually don't have anymore because I used it all on my actual paintings. Um, but yeah, I felt like the bright neon kind of broke up the pink nail polish. So yeah, I just went ahead and covered up like all the hearts with that particular color, including the original thumb and middle nail design that I filmed earlier in this video. Well, I just kind of gave you like a view of my psyche because my brain is all over the place. Maybe it's my ADHD, I don't know. But instead of painting on another like cow print, for some reason I decided to paint on a yin yang symbol. Really sorry about the awkward camera angle. This is my dominant right hand. But yeah, just went in with a nail art striper brush and tried my best to paint on yin yang. Well, if you haven't guessed by now, I think I mentioned this hundreds of times before, but if you're just like new coming to my channel or whatnot, I'm not a nail tech or anything. I'm just some emo kid all grown up. I'm currently 20 six years old and I just like to do my own nails because I get bored and I don't like salons. I'm gonna hold tirade about that. Uh, salons to me, at least in my area, are full of mean girls, too much mean girl energy and I'm like whatever, I can do my own nails. As you see, I'm kind of sort of decent at it. I'm not the best but it's cool. Anyways, anyways, uh, I'm kind of getting off track here. But for the pinky nails, as you see here, I just went in with that white nail polish and I uh, yeah, just kind of dotted on some clouds. At least I kind of hope they look like clouds. To me, they look like splotches, but, you know, to each their own. <laughs> but yeah, um, for the yin yang nail, it's pretty simple and easy. I was just letting those base colors dry, but to finish it off, I added a white dot to the black portion of the nail, and for the opposite, vice versa, a black dot on the white part. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yin yang's actually pretty easy, I'm just awful at explaining stuff. For the final nail, which is on my thumbnail on the opposite hand, I try to do like a Powerpuff Girls outro, a bunch of random hearts. Actually, if I remember correctly, I think I broke this nail while at work, which, yeah, that hurt. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm done with the nail art, and now finally just add the little, like, top coats to seal everything in. The go-to is always a matte top coat. I just really like the dull effect or whatnot. I don't know. I just, it's my go-to. However, for this nail art in particular, I decided to go in with the shiny finish and dang, it sucks you can't get this brand anymore. So usually if you guys have ever used like a shiny finish, if you do your nails at home, you know how it has like little bubbles and it looks awful. Well, this is the only shiny top coat I've ever used where it did not do that to my nail art. And as you see here, it just, it looks so pretty, it looks so shiny. Hey guys, um, I'm trying this new thing where I am stepping out of my comfort zone. And I know it seems small, but shiny, like, all out there nails, yeah, it's new to me and I really like it. The past, uh, let's see, 2024 at the time making this video, yeah, the past four years have been a little rough on me, but I'm trying to get back into it. Just, it all depends on my work schedule and whatnot. But anyways, anyways, enough of me, you know, jibber-jabbering like I usually do. Here is the completed nail art. However, this was filmed the next day. So I went to work, did my thing, actually broke my thumbnail, as you see there. So <laughs> I just put on like a fake, like pink one real quick just for the time being. But here it is, guys. Here is my completed nail art. Um... Yeah, so I guess this is part of the video where I ask you guys, like, let me know what you think down in the comments of today's nail art. I missed posting, but like I said, depends on my work schedule. But I hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, thanks for watching!